You're listening to Saturday Morning Media. And now, back to our show. Attraction Checklist is made possible by the Saturday Morning Media Patreon patrons. To support the show, get episodes early, and get exclusive bonus content, visit patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media for more information. And thank you for your support. My name is Grant Pachoco, and I invite you to join me on my quest to learn about and experience every Disney Park attraction I possibly can. This is Attraction Checklist. Welcome to Attraction Checklist. This episode, we check out an updated attraction that we've been on before. Back in episode number 42, we rode Living with the Land at Epcot's Land Pavilion. Well, in August of 2019, the attraction received a few minor updates. Now, there aren't really five new fast facts I can tell you about the attraction, except that in August of 2019, the theater section of the attraction, where you go through the barn, is now sporting all new HD video and a slightly different narration, which you will hear in this episode. Also starting in 2019, the attraction now receives a holiday overlay as part of Epcot's Festival of the Holidays. This overlay, called Merry and Bright Nights at Living with the Land, features twinkling lights and fun holiday decorations spread throughout the Living with the Land attraction. We'll have to go back sometime and record that version as well. For now, here is the 2019 update to Living with the Land. After the attraction audio, I'll give you my thoughts on this attraction. This is a binaural recording, so if you have headphones, put them on now as we ride the 2019 update to Epcot's Living with the Land. surface of the land, roots trap water from the flowing mud, extracting precious nutrients and minerals. These elements, combined with sunlight, create the diverse living systems of our planet. Those living 
and systems is the rainforest, home to the most amazing concentration of life on our planet. These dense and beautiful forests cover only a tiny portion of the Earth's surface, but they contain more than half of its plant and animal species. Rainforests are also extremely rich in productive living systems, providing us with oxygen, food, medicines, and other elements essential to our lives. In the desert, nature has created a very different, but no less beautiful, living system. And while this arid landscape may seem lifeless, it is very much alive. The plants and animals that have learned to survive in these harsh conditions make use of what little water they can find and avoid the scorching rays of the relentless sun. The American prairie once appeared as desolate as the desert, but over time, rainwater and nutrients gradually penetrated the hard surface of this land. Even the hooves of the mighty buffalo helped create the rich soil that would one day become home to the American farm.
Welcome to our living laboratory, where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce valuable harvests now and into the future. The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee, and rice, are well known around the world. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. Some, like the water lily, thrive in wet, swampy areas and waterways. All parts of this plant, even the flower petals, are edible. The starchy root of the plant has long been used to make flour for baking. One day, many of these lesser-known tropical plants may be as important as the bananas growing on both sides of the boat. More than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually, making it the most popular fruit in the world. When you mention farming, you probably don't think of fish. But fish farming, or aquaculture, accounts for nearly half of all the seafood consumed globally. Tilapia, bass, and catfish, like the ones you see here, are three of the more popular crops raised by fish farmers. The sustainable system we're using here recycles the water in the tanks. As a result, we're able to save millions of gallons each year. Our small fish farm produces nearly 5,000 pounds of fish each year to serve in restaurants around Walt Disney World. Innovations like this one can play an important role in our efforts to produce bountiful harvests and still protect natural resources. While there are more than 50,000 edible plant species in the world, most of us are only familiar with the handful that make up our everyday diet. The common grains growing here, wheat, maize, sorghum, and millet, plus rice, account for nearly two-thirds of our global food consumption. Learning how to increase yields of these staples is an important goal of research around the world. These plants are definitely on their way up. Innovative growing techniques like these increase yields while more efficiently using resources like water, fertilizer, and pesticides. Another innovation at work here is our integrated pest management program. By populating our greenhouses with beneficial insects that prey on harmful pests, like aphids and flies, we are significantly reducing our reliance on conventional pesticides. We're growing these crops using our nutrient film system. This technique precisely controls and recycles water and nutrients. With it, we can produce over 27,000 heads of lettuce a year in this one small area.
Some of our best ideas have been inspired by nature, like these fruit and vegetable trees. By growing these ground plants vertically, we can increase yields and better control diseases. These crops taste as good as they look. In fact, we serve more than 15 tons of produce from our greenhouses in restaurants here at the land every year. The future of agriculture may include innovative ideas like this vertical growing system. Plants grown in this way use a fraction of the space required by traditional growing methods. That saves water and increases production. The aquaponic system on your left combines hydroponics with aquaculture. The fish provide a natural source of fertilizer for the plants and the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. It's another great way to produce more while using less. In our lab, Epcot scientists are working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture on a number of innovative projects. The goal of these efforts is to produce higher yielding and better quality plants. And check out the behind the scenes walking tour. It's a chance for the whole family to get up close and personal with the plants and growing techniques in our laboratory. Please keep your hands and feet inside the boat and remain seated until the boat comes to a complete stop. These greenhouses represent just a fraction of the work being done worldwide to produce bountiful harvests for our growing population. Scientists, farmers, and even backyard gardeners are doing their part to improve the quantity and quality of foods that we all rely upon. Together, we can continue to find more ways to increase food production and protect our precious natural environment. Only then will we truly be living with the land. On behalf of Walt Disney World, we hope you've enjoyed this unique journey through our living laboratories. If you'd like a closer look, then check out the Behind the Seeds walking tour. It's a chance for the whole family to get up close and personal with the plants and growing techniques in our laboratories. Please keep your hands and feet inside the boat and remain seated until the boat comes to a complete stop.
And there you have the updated Living with the Land here at Epcot. And um, it is, uh, the update is very minor. Uh, they just updated the, vi- the video um, during kind of the barn sequence. Um, but uh, it's nice to see Living with the Land get a little TLC, get a little update, because who knows when the last time anything like that happened. <laughs> And, um, you know, it really looks good. Like, the, the picture quality is really amazing. And, um, you know, the new narration is great. It's real short. Um, I think the old one was pretty short as well because it's just the length of a boat going by. But um, it was really, uh, it was nice to see it. Nice to see it, uh, you know, uh, some nice <laughs> kind of HD stuff put into the, um, into the land. The one thing I will notice that I noticed is in the desert sequence nothing is going on there is absolutely nothing like there used to be like the sun sort of like a projected sun i believe and kind of like maybe clouds or something but now there was nothing and it was funny in the narration when he goes this may look lifeless (laughs) it's like yeah it is because nothing is happening um but there you go there's the updated land nice to see it uh, get a little love um and uh, hopefully it will be around for many years to come Do you agree or disagree with our thoughts on this attraction? Or do you just want to let me know what attraction we should go on next? Send me an email at hello at saturdaymorningmedia.com or you can let me know via Twitter where my username is ToasterBoy. You can also connect with the show on Instagram and Facebook by searching for Attraction Checklist. This episode was edited by Steven Staver. Attraction Checklist is a production of Saturday Morning Media and is made possible by the Saturday Morning Media Patreon patrons who've gone to patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media and set up a monthly pledge for as little as a dollar a month. Patrons get new episodes before they are released, downloads of the recorded ride audio for each attraction, and exclusive bonus episodes featuring attractions from other theme parks. If you'd like to support this show and the other fun content from Saturday Morning Media, become a patron. Head on over to patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media and set up your monthly pledge today. You can also tell a fellow Disney fan about the show or leave us a review on Apple Podcasts. Thank you so much for listening. Attraction Checklist is copyright 2021 Saturday Morning Media Grant Pachoco Executive Producer. All rights reserved. www.saturdaymorningmedia.com You've been listening to Saturday Morning Media. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.